Hi, I'm Jenny, a biology student, and this is my iPad. I'd like to show you Inquire, a new vision for a biology textbook. Like any electronic textbook, Inquire lets me read my book, take notes, look up key terms, and interact with graphics. But Inquire is capable of so much more. It's a textbook that answers questions using an AI reasoning system. It helps me study by suggesting questions and defining terms as I read. It helps me with homework by answering my questions, even those stupid questions I might hesitate to ask in class. I've been reading about plasma membranes, so I might ask questions about their structure, their function, and about the relationship between structure and function. Understanding relationships is crucial to understanding biology, and I can't get answers like these from the book. Linked from the text and from every answer are Inquire's Wikipedia-like glossary pages, which summarize everything I need to know about a concept. Because the AI generates these pages from the knowledge in the book, I'm never overwhelmed with unnecessary details. In addition, Inquire can compute the key differences between any two concepts. Comparing things is an important skill, and Inquire teaches by example. Now that you've seen what Inquire does, let's take a look at how it works. Inquire combines a curated biology knowledge base and a reasoning system that answers questions. The knowledge base consists of over 5,000 concepts pulled directly from the Campbell Biology textbook. Our team of biologists processes each sentence, extracting the key concepts and authoring conceptual models by drawing graphs. Let's see how this sentence is represented. On the outer surface of the plasma membrane, Carbohydrate side chains are found attached to proteins and lipids. Here's part of the plasma membrane graph. As a type of membrane, it inherits all the parts of membranes, including these specific types of proteins and lipids. The carbohydrate side chains are connected to these glycoproteins and glycolipids using the has part relationship from our ontology. To apply this knowledge to answer a question, we have three steps question interpretation, reasoning, and answer presentation. Let's look at a question students might ask. What structure of a plasma membrane facilitates cell-cell recognition? First, the student's natural language query is translated into logic, visualized here by a graph. The reasoning engine works backward from this query. From the knowledge base, it finds that all cell-cell recognition events are facilitated by a carbohydrate side chain. Then, in a different part of the knowledge base, it finds that all plasma membranes have a carbohydrate side chain. Thus, it deduces that carbohydrate side chain is the answer. The final step is presenting the answer using the most appropriate visual templates. Related images and sections from the book are linked using statistical text analysis, while follow-up questions are generated from predefined templates using relationships in the knowledge base. Inquire addresses the AI grand challenge of building a knowledge base from a textbook and giving detailed answers to a wide variety of questions. But how do these answers measure up from an educational perspective? I like Inquire because it helps my students focus and gives them a framework for problem solving and metacognition. I'm not always around to answer their questions, so when students need help, they turn to Google or Wikipedia. If I asked a question about steroid pollutants and dragonfly reproduction, students using Google have to sift through piles of stuff about baseball, bodybuilding, and sex. Inquire is based on our textbook, so it only provides what my students need. It's a bit like a science calculator. Inquire can't do their homework for them, but by answering simpler questions and suggesting follow-ups, Inquire can help students incrementally work toward a solution. In a study, we tested Inquire against both electronic and paper versions of the textbook. Students studied a section of text, completed a homework assignment, and took a quiz. Students using Inquire earned significantly higher scores on the homework and quiz, a full letter grade on average. In addition, no Inquire student got a D or F on the quiz, while nearly a third of the other students did. This suggests Inquire may be especially helpful for lower performing students, which we hope to explore in a future study. Our system contains the knowledge from a single book but our approach for representing conceptual knowledge is applicable to a variety of textbooks. Inquire is an example of how AI technology can ensure that the transition to digital textbooks is not just a superficial change, but rather a change that improves learning for students.